in this uh, haul, I picked up some impact sockets. So these are the types that I don't have or just not a full set. So I just uh, picked up some uh, pretty affordable ones. Uh, let's go with, well these singles are so metric 3 8 18 mil and a 19 mil. They're both uh, from Sunex Tools. Let's see. I'm pretty sure I didn't mean to pick these up since I did pick up the whole set, but uh, I think it was still in my cart when I checked out and I didn't even really take them out, so whatever. Um, but yeah, you can't go wrong with Sunex. Sunex is a, a really good brand, in my opinion. But they, these do have the pin in them. So, yeah, very nice labeling and all that. Here we go. Okay, no, it's the 18. Same deal with the pen. Yeah, didn't pay too much for these. Definitely affordable. Mixed Power brand. These are the 3 8 15 piece. I'm pretty sure that is a full set. It goes from 8 to 22 of the uh, swivel. So it is uh, labeled there. I don't, I don't think it's uh, laser etching or anything like that, but it is stamped on the uh, there as well. These are a pin as well inside. But yeah, for the price, I just went with these. Hopefully, they'll hold up. But I like that it was a full set, so yeah, it definitely oiled up nicely. So it shouldn't rust. But yeah. If, They'll move around pretty nice and easy, so yeah, I think they'll uh, they'll be good for me. It's nice to have a good full set of uh, swivels. And this is also a full set, 15 piece. I don't know what the Castleman. Uh, half inch drive though. They really seem like similar sockets. I'm sure they're just labeled with a different name, but they're all, I would think that they're all made in the same factory because they are literally the same style. So. But yeah, nice full set of half inches as well. Uh, I think I'm eventually going to get the deeps, but that'll be down the road. Eventually, though. Um, this is a very nice set. I uh, Definitely a little tougher to find standard sets of... Uh, of the impact swivels so I went with this Astro half-inch drive um, SAE set you know and I don't want to pay an arm and a leg for my use but you know Astro is definitely a good brand for sockets rails well yeah, these sockets are definitely got some heft and uh, it's, it's not a uh, pin so I would think that's definitely stronger I want to say I don't see no pin but there's a nice large spring in there so 
yeah it's not stamped it's just uh it's on there so I'm not sure yeah all these part numbers are different but there's the part number for this set so yeah and it goes from a uh, 7 sixteenths to a one inch but yeah these definitely these are definitely solid so they should be able to take the abuse like I said, Astro is a really good brand. But eventually, I'll be picking up some uh, some deep wells. But for now, I think that's definitely good enough. But yeah, that was my little pickup for uh, some impact sockets. Alright, so next up, I got the gear wrench the nine piece standard xl gearbox double ratcheting wrench set the number is eight five nine nine eight and there's all the uh, sizes it comes with i think i got this for like 80 or 85 bucks but uh yeah, let's check this out It comes in a nice decent case hopefully it'll fit in the drawers but I believe these are uh, 72 tooth as well they are 12 point with a zero degree offset They have a nice finish to them. No uh, flaws that I could see. The stamping is really nice. Teeth look really good. Yeah, all the other XL wrenches that I bought um, for standard were uh, either just the double box end or the flex head. So I thought it'd be nice to have the ratcheting and the box end. Pretty much all set for the metrics. Usually the smaller sizes that have the defects that I've noticed. Well, so far so good. Chrome looks good. Yeah, even the uh, 5 16 is nice. Teeth look good. Yeah, definitely happy with this pickup. Another collection to the tools. And next up, I just picked up a couple uh, things uh, from Amazon. These are uh, an ABN inner tie rod tool, a Lyle wheel, wheel stud installer, and uh, this is an Aries uh, bolt extractor. Uh, from a quarter to a half inch, adjustable chuck, self tightening, and you can use it on the impact. Yeah, these weren't much at all. Let's... I think I'll be helping a friend do some tie rods on his Subaru, so 
Let's pick this up because I think it'll come in handy. Hopefully, uh, should fit it. And uh, the reviews seem really decent. You know, they uh, look like they did the job. So, fairly simple tool. He's nicely greased up, but it's got the little bearing on the back. It's very, very simple to use. Yeah. This was uh, this wasn't that bad either, price-wise. It's nice to have. Packaging. I didn't think it was going to be at this bulky, but I figure this is always nice to have. As you tighten it, it'll close up on the uh, bolts. So if you got like header bolts, head studs, or whatever, this is a good tool to have. But yeah, it's definitely nice and hefty. So. Thinking it'll definitely uh, hold up to some abuse. I don't know if you can see, it's all just spring loaded in there. Yeah, this was fairly cheap as well, too. Yeah, Aries seems like a decent brand. Uh, I've got a couple other things from them. That's yeah, there's a couple little pickups for that. Uh, let's see what else we can get into. All right, so next up, I got a couple uh, knit or Knipex, I guess is how you pronounce it. Uh, let's see the uh, part numbers. These are my first of these this tool brand, which I hear nothing but good things. So I figured I'd pick some up. Uh, yeah, these are the uh, seven and a quarters. The I forgot exactly what the name of it like. I don't know, but yeah, I picked these up because uh, the Irwins that I had when I was working on the exhaust, I was trying to grab that rusted bolt, and it kind of just chewed up the teeth. So I figured I'd try these out because I hear these are just a lot harder of a metal. Oh, made in Germany and all that. And the price was definitely not that bad. Oh yeah. Definitely seemed like really good quality. And then I picked up this longer 10 inch as well. Seen those demonstrations that guy like puts it on a pipe and stands on it so it definitely uh, definitely has some lot of weight or well, you can apply a lot of weight to them so hopefully they hold up you know, working on rusty things and bolts and whatnot and with this these are the I forgot what they're exactly called but yeah, they uh, have the uh, flat edge on it, so you can get on the, nut, the nuts and all that. Nicely adjustable, it cranks down on it. Yeah, these were a decent price too. I wanted to get the uh, smaller version of it. They have like a 5, 7, 10s and all that, but 
I just figured this should be good enough. It's nice because it has the markings as well as you uh, go down on it. You know, with a little triangle. Really easy to adjust, so. Yeah, that's a little Knipex pickup.